be a great player this weekend too with a player sports bet. And Rob Beveridge, the Wildcats uh, coach, joins us right now. Rob, how are you going, mate? Yeah, I'm really good. Really good, thanks. Nice good to, to talk. Nice to talk to you. Well, there was plenty of passion. There was plenty of fire. Uh, didn't like uh, what the opposition, actually a couple of former Wildcats, what they did to uh, your players and the crowd at the end of the game. A few of the boys uh, got their noses out of joint. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And uh, you know, I think we were just disappointed uh, in the way that they actually did uh, celebrate their win. Uh, you know, I've always uh, tried to teach our players to... To uh, I guess be humble when they win and gracious when they they're defeated and uh, and particularly the way that Harvey and Goulding carried on at the end of the game in the in the middle of where we get on the court uh, upset uh, young Stevie Way. Fifteen hundred dollar fine slapped on uh, the boys for their efforts uh, there on Saturday night in regards to the shenanigans late in the game. Rob, uh, happy to cop that on the chin. Yeah, we do. We, we're going to cop it on the chin and just move on. Uh, you know we. You know, can't do anything about it, and you know, we're not going to whinge and whine. You know, we can't say that we're innocent because we were definitely involved in it. So it was a case of, all right, let's just cop it on and let, let's try and get uh, get back on track and really get after Townsville. We're really focusing on uh, that Townsville game on Saturday night. Now, all of a sudden, you were looking like you were going to be a game clear because, of course, everyone likes to pencil in those wins at home, Rob, but uh, didn't get the job done. Now, all of a sudden, um, there's, a, there's a big pack of sides that uh, not much separating them. It, it was always going to be like that. Uh, we, we're in a fortunate position of playing uh, five home games in a row and uh, we really did set ourselves up for uh, being on top. <laughs> However, uh, other teams, are, you know, they're all catching up and the league is just so tight and it's going to be like that the whole way through. Rob, uh, obviously there was a lot of feeling after the game uh, last weekend. How's the training been since this week? Do, have the boys sort of continued that on and, and had a bit of fire in the belly as far as taking on their, their game this week? Have you noticed a bit of an up in the intensity so far this week at training? Oh, there's no doubt. No, we, we let ourselves down again two weeks ago and really pumped ourselves up for, for the game on the weekend. And it was a great game. And it was a, a two-point game with uh, less than... 30 seconds to go and uh, could have gone either way and uh, unfortunately ball didn't go our way and that's it but uh, yesterday's training was just outstanding just how tenacious they were uh, I think we got back to what we were doing well of you know, pushing the ball and taking open shots and last week I think we got a little bit bogged down with what we were doing and we want to go back to playing that free flowing style and really getting after the teams and uh, if we can do that uh, I think uh, we can definitely get back on track you take on Townsville this weekend once again at the jungle. There'll be. Uh, what, are you on the road this weekend or at home? Yeah, home. yeah no, no, we're, we're home again. Yeah, home, home, yeah. So it, it's going to be an unbelievable uh, environment because uh, Townsville knocked off Perth last year, and that's when uh, you know, homicide or homicide, as some of the guys call him, <laughs> uh, ran around the stadium without his shirt on and waving it and getting after the crowd. And uh, you know, he's a real. Uh, vibrant personality and uh, yeah, I'm sure he's already talking it up how he's going to come in and do that again. He's not uh, the most popular man there at the Jungle uh, Homicide, no doubt about that and the boys will have a point to prove. They were yelling out the old Croc Nation going absolutely feral after that final so there's a chance for a little bit of payback uh, this weekend, no doubt about that Rob and I know one of your most passionate fans he sits courtside, Simon Devlin Carl, I've never seen more passion from any supporter in any game at any time and uh, no no doubt he'll have a few words for homicide on Saturday night as well, Rob. I reckon he's got a calendar and he's got a big red circle around the date that Towns will come into town and you know, he'll get his mates together and you know, he, he's, he's going to love it. You know, I'm sure that he's really pumped up for the, the week just as much as what we will be. Yeah, well, you better not let him down. Well, You never know what might happen, Rob, after last week. Oh yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we'll handle a little bit better than that, and uh, yeah, we, we don't. We're not putting the situation to uh, for that to happen. But uh, yeah, we, we we got a lot enormous amount of pride with our team, and uh, so we we took offence to the way that uh, you know, those two guys carried on, and you know, they insulted not, not only our team but our crowd as well. And I, I think it's just fantastic 
the way that our boys uh, said, no, this is our home court and you know, we're not going to cop that. And, but be, yeah. dare I be, dare I be uh, devil's advocate, but isn't that the way that you uh, turn things around? You know, negative motivation, Rob, the most powerful motivation of all, and, you know, having uh, 60 or 70, 80,000 Collingwood, Essendon supporters booing you all day just uh, made you more powerful, and that's what they did. They turned around what, what can always be a cauldron, which you guys have thrived on. They, they took that to their advantage. They did. They, they played an exceptional game of basketball. We won't take that away from them. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you know, it shows that we aren't invincible at home and shows that we, we uh, actually have got to work harder than ever to get back to where we, we were a couple of weeks ago. And That's the challenge we have, and we've got a, such a terrific uh, group of young, talented players, and uh, yeah, we, we're definitely going to uh, come out and just give it our best. Rob, the other thing it does do is show that uh, it's very doable to go on the road and win games. And, I mean, your previous road game had such a healthy buffer, as much as 20 points at different stages of the game, only to get rolled late in that particular match. But, you know, it has shown that your boys can fire over there. It's just a matter of keeping up for 40 minutes. And I think the key to, to finishing in a top two position, which, as we know, in the NBL pretty much can really set you up for a tilt at the NBL title, um, will be those road wins at the end of the season in such a, a close uh, competition as it is this season. I think that, uh, in particular, we, we got two uh, road trips next week to New Zealand and Wollongong, which uh, is going to be really tough. And uh, we've got to get back on track and win at home to give us that, that confidence again to, to know that we can play the way we want to play. And, and uh, there's no doubt that it's, it's a real mental thing with uh, you know, the teams travelling. It's, uh, I guess, trying to eliminate all those errors that you can control and... Uh, you know, just get in and have a crack. That's what I'm trying to have the guys. You know, who cares where it is? Or you know, the court's the same size, the ring's the same height. Uh, we we just got to continue you know, battling through that and uh, becoming better each week. All right, Rob. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight, mate, and all the best for the weekend. No way. It's going to be a crack of a game, so make sure you all get down there uh, on uh, Saturday night. Thanks, Town- Rob. Townsville, seven o'clock is the tip-off. Uh, now, listeners, if.